Welcome to the very first Lumber Tycoon 2 episode. In this video, we will learn how to make a axe chute, or axe dispenser, or axe vending machine. It takes up a very small amount of space, but it works really nicely. You pull one out, a new one falls down. Now, you could implement this idea into a shop of some kind which is what I'm gonna do to my shop over here and I will show you how to make it it'll only take about two minutes to make if you have the items already on your base it'll only take a few minutes to make so on to the supplies you will need seven normal tiles that is these tiles right here they're just called tiles you will need seven of them. It does they they can be any type of wood. This one is just frostwood. Now you do have to get frostwood to fill in a three by three wedge. It has to be a three by three wedge. Fill it up with frostwood, you'll be okay. And these are you'll need four. Well, you don't need them, but you know, you will need four one by one wedges. They look like this. You will need four of these. Once you have done that, and get a post too. Once you have done that, we can start building. So first things first, just place, just place a tile down next to the shop that you want to make. Or, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just take your uh, wedge, place your wedge down where you want the axes to come out, but leave one unit of space from where you want them to come out. So, if you want the axe to, you're going to want the axe will fall and stop right here. Now, we're going to place that there, and we'll grab the second one. And then, just like that, you now have two. If you grab a third one, and place it right here, then take this, and place it one unit in from the back wall, just like so then take another one of these and place it one unit away and one unit down so it should look like this when you're done I'll remove this tile just to show you what it'll look like now you're gonna have to grab another wedge and place it here this will prevent the axes from falling out. Now, take this, the your last and final wedge. This is optional, but I think it looks good for just as a uh, display. So you put your axe and whatnot up here, and uh, yeah, this is the basic shoot. Um, it works great. You can make smaller models for gingerbread axes and whatnot. Uh, although it is kind of difficult with gingerbread axes. I've noticed with the most basic boxes, like the mini axe, or the end times box, or the beta and alpha boxes, this will work just fine. But just to demonstrate, I'll show you how this works. You're going to want to grab your axe boxes while do while I'm doing this I will talk about what I'm planning on doing with this channel I am planning on uploading about maybe every so often once like once a weekend maybe I, I have no promises but if you could please stick around you don't have to watch me every time but it would be very helpful if you were to subscribe and like my videos so that other people out there can find out this amazing idea.
Well, at least I think it's, you know, a really good idea. And, uh, yeah. So, we'll put this last one in here. Just to, we don't, we don't need many. Oh, it doesn't want to go in there. There we go. But, yeah. This is how it works. You pull one out. Oh, oh, a little bit of lag. You pull one out. The new ones fall. You, you would use the ice wedge here. So that way, these will slide a lot easier. And, uh, oh, I'm a bit laggy, but it's okay. Uh, now, I will show you how to make a, you could call it a magazine for this to hold more. And to do that, You will need your last four wedge or uh, tiles. You only need three tiles for that part, but you need four for this part. And uh, yeah, you place this here, and then uh, what we shall do is just like. Oh, see, that's a little bit too small of a gap. I think. Hold on. Let, 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 here, let's find out. Um, sorry if you hear music in the background. I, I've been trying to time this video perfectly, and now my dad wants to play music. But I hope I don't get a copyright strike. But yeah, see, it doesn't want to fit. So what we need to do is oh, oh oh I see I see I've placed this tile wrong it's okay there we go now it shall fit I have noticed that it is pretty difficult to load these in well see it'll load in but it'll get stuck but what I've noticed to help is if you press E and move the wall or the tile not the wall it's the back tile and you then you can pick up your boxes and put them in there and then when you're ready I'll show you you can take your uh, uh, axes put them all in here it can hold up to uh, eight doing it this way but you can make this go up to infinity basically quite literally um, I haven't tested it any farther than this, so I don't know. But it should work just fine. But yeah, when you're done, you can press B, and you're good to go. Here, you can put a piece of glass as a um, way of making a display. I thought about putting, like, a price here for, like, you know, how much the axe box cost. And then putting the axe box there for display. And then when you need one, you grab it a new one falls like so you, you you grab it a new one falls you grab it a new one falls and then it'll continue falling until you're out I hope you guys have enjoyed this video that is all that I have for you today but here's a little idea that I had with eyes you can kind of do something like this. But yeah, just messing around with the wedges and whatnot, but this is my idea. Um, I did not, uh, you don't need this post. Sorry, you don't need this. But um, all the credit, I haven't found any videos on this, so all the credit has gone to me. MLG Mr. Teddy or Mr. Teddy on YouTube that you are watching this from and I hope you guys have enjoyed please like favorite and subscribe I'll catch you guys later peace